So another topic besides uh, wild goats all over the place is about the Bible. Mike, come here. We, we want to find out who is your favorite person in the Bible but and why. You have to tell us why they're your favorite person. And Mac is going to start off telling us. Mm. Who's your favorite person in the Bible and why? Why is... Um, my like favorite because he showed courage and Jehovah and trusted in him when he had to kill Goliath. Oh, very good. How about you, uh, Easton? Who's your favorite person in the Bible? Um, I like David too. Do you? Yeah. Why? Because um, he showed trust in uh, Jehovah and... Um, he, in the video, he, you could see he almost date, I mean, um, Satan, what's his name, um, Satan, no, Hezekiah, Goliath, um, Saul, yeah, Saul, yeah, um, he, Saul reached out and said, don't go there alone, okay, how about you, Lucy, who's your favorite person in the Bible? Like Jonah. Jonah. Ah, why do you like Jonah? Um, because, um, because he, he showed faith and trust in the hole when they threw him into the ocean and the shark ate them and then, <laughs> um, and then he showed trust in the hole. Yeah, that's very true. What about Samson? I like Samson. Does anybody remember anything about Samson? You don't remember Samson? Huh? Uh -uh. He was strong. Oh, yeah. He was the, like the strongest man. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like a whole bunch of people would attack him and he would beat them all, right? Yeah. He was just like the strongest man. Do you remember why he was strong? What made him strong? Do you remember? His hair. That's right. And he had long hair, right? Yeah. Did he ever cut his hair? No. No. But then what happened when Delilah tricked him and cut his hair? What happened to Samson? He lost his power. Yeah, he did. And then they took advantage of him and they tied him up with ropes and they poked out his eyes and they tied him to these big columns and were just making fun of him. And do you know what happened after that? So they put a rope on this arm and tied him to a, a column, you know, a, a, a stone column. And then it put a rope on this arm and tied him up and they poked his eyes out. They made him blind. And they were all hundreds and thousands of people were there making fun of him. And what did Samson do? He prayed to Jehovah. He prayed to Jehovah. And what did he pray for? He prayed to... He prayed to be strong one more time because they had cut his hair off and he was weak. So he prayed to Jehovah one more time to give him strength. And, and what did Jehovah do? He gave him power. And what did Samson do when he got super strong again? He pulled on the ropes and the, the big stone columns collapsed. And they were like inside of a big building, right? And when these big stone columns collapsed, everyone in the building that was making fun of him they all got crushed by all the stone blocks and things that came falling down. Were Bible people making fun of him? No, no, just bad people. And what happened to Samson? He died. He died when the whole building collapsed. But he was happy. Why was he happy? Because he, because he put faith in Jehovah. That's right. He died serving Jehovah. So would you like to meet Samson in the new world? Yeah. <laughs> Do you think he'll be super, super, super strong anymore? I hope. I hope no, he soon. won't be. He won't, he won't be because he won't need to be. Jehovah gave him special strength because of the time that he, he lived in. But in the new system, he'll just be a, a regular person like us. But he'll be able to tell you stories. And I'm, and I'm excited to meet him. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah.